All right, good morning, beautiful world. It is day three. It is chilly. It says it's snowing, but I don't see any snow. It is sunrise here at the Chateau. Beautiful day. Always so beautiful. And I get to have breakfast today. Woo! The grocery stores are open. I made the very rookie mistake of uh, I made the very rookie mistake of arriving um, late on Saturday when the grocery stores are all closed on Sunday. So my breakfasts haven't been too great. Um, here's, yeah, there's some beautiful hot dogs there. And then the other meal was uh, crackers and some ham that was in the freezer. Not a great meal, not a great meal. So today I'm gonna go to Super U and uh, I'm gonna go fill the gas up so we can start doing some mowing. The car is running, which is fantastic. Trees are looking great. Kind of fun, you can see that umbrella pine a little bit better now that all the other trees are gone. So I, I can't wait someday to clear that out. Hopefully we can get this whole property at some point. But yeah, gonna be a good day. Gonna start off with some groceries, get some gas. I'm gonna start mowing the yard, vacuum some flies maybe. And then once the sun goes down, I'm gonna go into Angers and get replacement glass to fix that window. Should be a good day three. Okay, so maybe it was cold. Look at that. The windshield frozen. In fact, yeah, the automatic windshield's not even working that frozen. So, I mean, it's not exactly Canada, but eh, for not having heat in the chateau, that's something. Boy, it's beautiful in the morning. See the steam coming off the slate tiles? It's fun. Isn't that nice? Boy, the fields, they've just, uh, they're regrowing them. And they look just so nice. This is uh, coming up to the, oh, what do we call this gate? The stable gate. And so right now we still have to get out and lock it and unlock it every time. But hopefully this 25 days I'm going to get an electric opener on this, which will make life much more convenient and probably make everything a bit safer. All right, super you. Got my cart. <clears throat> Here I am. This is our favorite grocery store. It's about, oh man, I don't know, five minutes from our house, a couple miles, two, three miles. And this is going to be super fun. Um, so. Here's how the game goes. Um, I'm challenging myself to go 21 days, uh, 21 days, and on 100 euro. Uh, ex now you'll notice the trip is 25 days because there's some days I'm out and I won't be able to cook. And, and honestly, there's a couple reasons for this. So when I was thinking about this idea, I was like, should I do this? Should I not do it? And Leslie's kind of like, you're going to France. Go out to eat, enjoy the beautiful restaurants because there's some great ones. And the formula meals are incredible. But I also kind of wanted to try this. And so I thought I'll compromise. I'll go 21 days, I'll eat groceries and off the 100 euro and then a couple days I will go out just so I can still enjoy the restaurants and actually it turned out it's, it's good that I made that rule because I arrived on a Saturday and then on Sunday the grocery stores were all closed so you know I had to just find what I could find and so I did end up going to our favorite place Delice by the Chateau Ooh, in Beaujais oh man formula meal here it is here's some pictures so good I had some type of a uh, fish tartare I don't remember which fish and then I got the steak, which was okay. The frites were great. And then the dessert, chocolate fondant, unbelievable. So um, the food here in, in France, incredible. Okay, these are looking good, a little more expensive. They're sometimes cheaper, but four baguettes for two bucks. These ones are cheaper, but these ones just came out. Oh, and the bag is warm. Oh man, I love that, the bag is warm. Grocery time, here we go, $57, $57. Uh, hopefully this will last me, well, I don't know, we'll see. Got 30 eggs for three bucks, about a dollar of rice. That's my favorite cereal, Jordan's is two, 270. I bought a cheap cornflakes because I'm trying to make it. Two frozen peaches, two bucks each. Those little cheeses, Emmental is the, is the French thing. They're about a buck 50 each. Boursin, a buck 50, that's a splurge, I love Boursin. I like these little, I like these little, uh, <laughs> they're easy. There's two, I can do one meal, one per meal. They're, I think, I think they were a 210 or something like that. Milk is 84 cents for two bottles. 84 per bottle, two things of cream. That was a little spendy, 150 or something. Three dollars of pork chops, 360, I guess, 370. Sausage is 150, bacon is two. Uh, Lardons about two bucks. I got two packs in there. Lardons is one of the great inventions of France. Little bacon bits you cook up, they're so good. I should have bought more, but I'm trying to figure out which ones I like. What is that? Three, three dollars of, yeah, I can't even see it. Yeah, I believe it was two actually of ground beef, buck 50 for ketchup. A dollar for bread. I, okay, these were still warm in the store. I had to buy three. Three for two something. Um, buck 29 for two kilograms, four pounds. Carrots, 99 cents. Mushrooms, five euro for uh, 12 pounds of potatoes. Similar, like a buck, something like that. for So uh, lots and lots of potatoes. So we'll see how long this lasts me. That's a 57.08 with the 290 I spent 
the first day, uh, that works out to 59, shoot, did I say 08? 59.98 so far, still $40 to go. So we'll see if I make it. Now, in fairness, I need to admit that I did start with a little bit of an advantage. Mostly the fridge is empty. I did have a little bit of salt and pepper, so I don't have to buy that. Uh, we did find a few things in the freezer. So for example, I have a little bit of cheese I'm starting with, and I think a little tiny bit of coffee. So, you know, in real, it'd be a couple more dollars, but usually some of this stuff there might be left over too. Oh, it, notice you might be thinking, why is he splurging on water, bottles of water, 16 cents each here in France. So I haven't been drinking enough. I know I can easily get water from the tap, but I'll start with these containers and I can refill them. Put one on the lawnmower, one in the house, one in the car, and then I'll try to get hydrated. Okay, it's gonna be fun, gonna be fun. Hopefully we'll eat well. All right, so good news and bad news. I got all the tires fixed, uh, or at least pumped up, but I think that's the good news. The bad news is I'm pretty sure this one's still leaking. Slow leak. And I was wondering, the whole thing was dragging. And I'm like, what is the problem? Why are you dragging? So I tried to pick it up. I'm not great with small, small machinery, and I was trying to dig around to figure out what's going on. And I think I figured it out, so you can tell. See right there? It's like, it broke, it came off. We'll have to either weld it or hopefully not buy a new one. We'll see. But looks like it'll be a week or two before we get mowing. Bummer. Okay, so from there it was time for some lunch. Quick little grilled cheese, grilled ham and cheese. Simple meal, then up to the attic, and I cleared some gutters. Man, look at this stuff. It just uh, accumulates so fast. You know, an inch or two, uh, you know, more than that, close to the thing, close to the downspout. And then uh, probably should have swept this, but I was vacuuming, uh, vacuuming up the debris in that one bathroom where the roofs collapsed a little bit, clean it up a bit. And then the flies. Now, uh, I've got a new system. It's a good system. You use the big brush to push the flies into a pile and then the vacuum sucks them up. So it, it, it's a lot easier than just trying to vacuum the whole room. Um, uh, I don't know how many flies there are in the world, but there's 10,000 less of them after today. <laughs> there, I did the whole uh, premier etage, the whole second floor North American, uh, and it was just, uh, so I had to take a little video, and, and this is sped up so you can uh, enjoy it, though as you can see, still needs considerable cleaning. Look at all those flies in that bin. It's like they go there to die. They like some rooms more than the others. They seem to like you know, the warm rooms. Then it was time for some supper. Again, a nice cheap supper. I think you see about seven cents of onions there, about 10 cents of tomato, of mushrooms. I did more hamburger than I should have. I had leftovers for tomorrow, but that's about $2 of hamburger. We'll stretch it out over two meals. Decided to make some spaghetti sauce. There's not a bad little meal, you know, adequate, adequate, probably less than two bucks since it'll cover two meals. And then of course, ah, cappuccino. Yay for coffee. Then if you listen here, you can see the beautiful sunset and hear the birds chirping. The Chateau is just such a beautiful place. Even in the cold and, and the damp, the sun comes out for a minute and you're like, wow, this place is awesome. It's special. Well, it's about 8.30. I just got back from town. I went to a couple of our favorite places, Brico Depot where we got um, two new showers. These are for a clear glass panel showers. So we had a couple showers that were um, cheap plastic, but we could live with the plastic. The problem was, was more that um, they're 70 millimeters, which is 70 centimeters. So it was pretty tight in there. You could barely get into one of them. And also went to Leroy Merlin, La Roi Merlin, and they cut me a nice $14 piece of glass. So tomorrow we'll get that all fixed and uh, then it's time for bed. Now it's a little cold in the chateau. I appreciate those of you asking me how it's going with the heat and <laughs> sending kind of various suggestions. It's actually not that bad. I do have a little space heater, but it's tough when the walls are so big. But we'll go to sleep and uh, I got a heated blanket too if I need it. And we'll get under a bunch of covers, and we'll have a good sleep and uh, and we'll be ready for tomorrow, day four. Thanks for watching.